So you need to present some content from a web page. But that page contains sensitive information that you'd like to hide. Or maybe you just want your audience to focus on the relevant information and hide all the rest. Today I'm going to introduce you to Zero Blur a tool that does exactly what you need. Zero Blur is a completely free product that you can easily install as an extension to your browser. This is a very helpful tool, for example, if you're sharing your screen on Zoom or Teams, but also if you're presenting the content from a web page live in a face-to-face -face meeting. Hi, if we haven't met before, my name is Enrico, and I help you become a remote working hero by adopting the technology that works best for you. So let's go have a look. Zero Blur is made by Div by Zero and by a guy called Massimo Chiaruzzi. Thanks a lot, Massimo, for providing this tool to us. He does a number of things, but we're interested in his free tools. So let's navigate to the Free Tools tab. And here we find Zero Blur. Click on Try Now. And let's read what it is. Never again expose sensitive data while sharing your screen. It's a 100% free browser extension to blur out sensitive data. It works for Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and also Firefox. And as Massimo's writing here, it's not just for live meetings or sharing web pages on Zoom or presenting live, but also if you're recording a tutorial. So if you have recorded a product demo just to realize it contains sensitive data, like personal emails or customer data. I'm on Chrome, so I'll download it for Google Chrome. I'm brought to the Chrome Web Store. Since I have already installed it, then I have the option to remove it. But here you will see the option to install it. Once installed it, you'll find this icon appearing on your browser tab. So let's select a website where we will test it. I'll choose my own website. By the way, you should definitely check if you're interested in remote working and remote presentations. Once we are on the website, let's click on the Zero Blur icon, make sure that it's enabled, and then click on Edit Blur. As simple as that. You see the tools appearing to the right. Let's see what they do. So the first one is Blur Element. Let's try it. As you hover over something, then this dotted red line will appear. It means that the element is pre-selected. Now if I click on it, magically it will be blurred out. Let's see if it works also on the image. Yes, it does. With the plus and minus signs, you can increase or decrease the level of blur. So let's go back here. If you click again, it will remove the blur, but let's leave it here and let's increase the blur. 17. So let's say I'm presenting my remote presentation hero OBS Studio from zero to master course, but I want to hide this part here. Just click on it and this element will be blurred out. You can also blur an arbitrary area of the web page. Let's try it. So you can just drag and drop, and this will blur only the area that you've selected. It doesn't make a lot of sense here, so let me delete it, and maybe let's say I want to blur only the last two sentences of this text. And I can do that by drag and dropping. The next tool is Blur Document Title. Let's try it. I don't really understand what's the difference between Blur Document Title or Blur Element, as it does exactly the same thing, just blurring the elements. If you click on the trash icon, then it will delete all the blurs, like this. Let me blur again a couple of elements. By clicking on the X icon, we finish editing. So now I can navigate my site as usual. The blur areas will stick to the appropriate section, so I can very easily scroll down and this will look very smooth. The nice thing is that if in a week I will have to redo the same presentation and I will need the same blur effects, then Zero Blur remembers the areas of a website that are blurred. So let me close my web page and let me open it again and the blur is still there. Okay, but what if you need to use the clean version of the website between one presentation and the other? Well, you don't need to delete all your blurs and then redo them. Just go to the icon, click it, and then disable it. When zero blur is disabled, then you won't see any blur and you can use your website as usual. Now, when I need the blur again, just click on the icon again and click on enable. And voila, the blur comes back. 
It's a simple, very useful tool, don't you agree? If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button, as this will help me spreading my content and growing my channel. Thank you. By the way, if you're creating tutorials, let's go to the next step. Tango is a Chrome extension that allows you to create how-to guides in a very automated way. Tango records the actions that you do on a web page and produces an how-to guide without you having to do anything. If you got curious, you should definitely watch this next video.